Hi, my name is Rocky Henriquez. I'm the pastor at Utica Baptist Church in Utica, Mississippi. And today I want to talk to you about a job you may have never heard of here on the preacher's rocking chair. In the game of football, there are many different kinds of coaches, and each of them has a specific job to do. There are defensive line coaches and linebacker coaches, offensive line coaches, secondary coaches, running back coaches, tight end coaches, special teams coaches. There are even coaches assigned to do nothing but work with the quarterbacks. During a game, each of those coaches is focused on his particular job. But there's one coach you may not have heard about. In recent years, some teams have hired what is called a strength coach, strength coach. And his job is to work with the players between games in the rock locker rooms and on the practice fields, helping them to make sure that they are in top condition and that they are as strong as possible. Now, since he doesn't have a specific assignment during the game, then the strength coach on some teams is assigned a different kind of job. He then fills the role of what has become known as the get-back coach. Now, if you watch any football at all, you've probably seen him at work, even if you didn't realize it and if you didn't pay attention to it. Some head football coaches get a little bit worked up, as we might say. They're on the sideline they're, they're on the, during the course of game. They might even step out onto the playing field. They're vigorously protesting a call that a referee has made or perhaps in the act of admonishing a player for some missed tackle or some other miscue. The f head football coach might step out onto the field. Well, stepping out too far out onto the field uh, can result in a penalty. A referee might run into him. He might accidentally interfere with a play. So the get-back coach has the responsibility of standing behind the head coach, watching to make sure that he doesn't stray too far into a place he shouldn't be. Sometimes he even reaches out uh, and grabs the head football coach by his pants or his shirt or um, maybe even grabs him by his waist and pulls him back to a safe spot so he doesn't get in trouble. Hence the term get-back coach. He's there to make sure the head coach gets back where he should be. In the high emotion of the moment, the head coach might not always appreciate that effort, even though that is specifically what he has told that guy to do. Well, like the head football coach, we believers sometimes stray from where we should be. If we pay attention to the Lord, He can pull us back from where we should not be in our thoughts, our actions, our attitudes, even our footsteps. The world might call it conscience or guilt, but the Bible refers to it as conviction. In John 16, 8, Jesus told us that one of the roles of the Holy Spirit is to convict us of sin. Now, He does much, much more than that, of course, but in that role, He serves as our get back coach. When he speaks to us, telling us that something's not right or that we should do a particular thing or not do a particular thing, the best thing we can do is to listen and be grateful that he has not given up on us. Be encouraged.